Hello, this is Jan here, and this is just a video about some of the repairs we've been doing to the car, like rust repair, welding, um, do, painting the wheels, and doing a bit of interior work. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So this is one of the wheel arches that we tackled. As you can see, we've attacked it with a wire brush, and we've treated it with some rust proofing, as you'll be able to see in a second. And there's a patch underneath the wheel arch, just underneath, like past the wheel arch, and that was had a hole, a rust hole in it. So we uh, plate that up with a bit of metal, and then we treated it so it wouldn't rust in the future. And then we put a tiny bit of filler on so it looked factory. So this is with the better of the two um, wings, and so but it still had a lot of rust on them. So what we done, we plated it up, welded a new lip on it because the lip rotted away. Obviously, it had been loaded dirt that had been kicked up by the wheels in the past, and yeah, so that had been we welded that up, and then we reinforced it with some fiberglass and some resin. So all of the mud and water and stuff in the future that had been kicked up by the wheel, it won't have, like hit bare metal, so it won't rust. And again, this is another part from the wheel arch. And this one we couldn't weld on because it's a curved bit. So we were a bit <laughs> skeptical about repairing this one because obviously it had a nice curve on it. So what we done, we treated it with um, with a rust adhesive thing. And basically we sanded it all down and then put the rust uh, proofing on it and then filled it up and then put some stone chip on. I think it looked quite smart. This coming up is just a quick um, patch we done with a tiny bit of tin. We just welded a bit of old tin to it and then put a bit of filler on. So this is one of the biggest parts we've welded so far. This was the first sill we replaced and the inner sill was quite rotten. So obviously we replaced the inner sill. So this is when we cut the outer and inner sill. This is what we looked, what it looked like. The bit that goes underneath the door, we tried, wanted to keep that there for a bit of strength. Um, we obviously we um, barricaded the door when we took the door off, and we reinforced the bottom, as you can see, with those that um, wooden pillar, and that seemed to help quite a lot. I think that worked a lot better than um, using the uh, the door brace. But yeah, so we took that off. We kept the bit on the bot uh, bottom of the door to reinforce, and then we welded the inner sill on. On the driver's side, the inner sill was quite solid. We think the both sills have been replaced in the past, but when they were replaced, they weren't coated with a rust wax. Um, so rust, you know, give it 10 years, they'll just be as bad as they were when they were taken off. So we've done it properly and we've put coated it with the rust wax inside and on the outsides. Um, so hopefully it prevents the rust from happening in the future. And this is the driver's side outer sill before we took it off. Obviously, you can see it's quite badly damaged. Underneath, the, like the bottom lip is probably the worst part. And yeah, so once we took this one off, we saw the inner sill was quite solid. So um, we didn't even, I had an inner sill for the driver's side that I bought like a replacement, but there was no need for it. So we just, yeah, we just welded the new outer sill on and it worked quite fine. This is another patch we've done. As you can see, it's very, it was very, very rotten. So we just cut all of it out. So we got some, and then we grinded it down to get some nice clean metal to weld off of. We spot welded as we didn't have any gas in our welder. So we used gasless wire. Obviously it's a lot cheaper as well. Wish we could do it, you know, with gas, uh, but you know, sometimes you can't afford it. So we just, yeah, we spot welded it and then we um, filled it up and then put some we put some um, stone chip on the on it to make it look quite flush, and we tried as best as we could to get the wheel arch in the same shape with a filler, and it turned out quite well, if you ask me. Okay, so now we move on to the wheels. As you can see, these horrible Ross style wheels. I, lo I like the wheels. Don't get me wrong, the wheels, but obviously they've been they look in a horrible state at the minute. But um, they were they had these horrible plastic. Uh, fake like wire wheel hubcaps on top of them so we took them off and we saw the state in the in the rust styles and then we um basically we sanded it all down rust coated uh rust proofed the wheel and revived the metal and then we painted it with just some ordinary um silver wheel paint and some uh gloss black 
and put a bit of a clear coat on top of it and they turned up quite well. Okay, so now we move on to the interior. So on the odd days when it started to rain and stuff, like we haven't been able to get underneath the car, so we just thought we'd do a bit on the interior. So the first thing you'll be able to see is the pass, not the parcel shelf, sorry, just a um, shelf underneath the dashboard. Um, it had cracked, as you saw in the first video. It had like, ripped and it was looking quite sad. But um, basically what I've done, because I'd like to you the interior is going to be a, like a new brown t like sort of tone of colour. So I've bought some vi some brown vinyl just off the uh, online, and um, I've we've basically um, put it over the shelf, and it looks quite good. It will match the interior I'm going for. So yeah. So while we're still on the subject of interior, so as you can see, the the previous color of the interior was like a like a beige sort of color, and it looked very very worn and horrible. So what I done, I cleaned it all up. And I bought this um, leather and vinyl um, like stain off the internet. I'll put a pick. I'll put a link to it in the description if I can find the link still. But it was cheap enough. I just bought the spot, like a two hundred and fifty mil bottle, and I've done the whole of the interior perfectly fine. Um, yeah. So what I just suggest is just go on with light coats. Uh, I do no more than two coats, but it turned out quite well. Um, so yeah, I'm really chuffed with the how it's looked it looks new to me um so yeah it'd be nice to see how the interior looks once it's done and i've also bought some brand new brown carpets for the car because when we had it the carpets had like all oil stains in it and stuff and it just didn't look very nice so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this short video of what how we've been getting on so far with welding and uh, painting and doing the interior uh so yeah i hope you've enjoyed it uh, if you're not subscribed already please consider subscribing and yeah hope to see you on the next one